So I've noticed a slight problem with the bike, namely, we're leaking fuel. That's coming from the carburetor overflow. So I'm going to have to take the carburetor off and examine. It's normally the float, not going up and shutting off the valve. So I'll turn the petrol off. We'll go around the other side and undo the nut, the screw. This is the drain screw here. Drain that car. Pour it out now. that carburetor drain. Too much to want to drop it. Looks like that could be it. Now I'll go and remove the carburetor off the bike. I'll be back. So the carb's off. It's just two 10 millimeter nuts. The throttle and the fuel pipe off the fuel tap. and the air intake, the whole thing just slid forward it's actually that way around so yeah, let's take this on the bench and have a butchers let's see what we've got then three crosshead screws It would be better to put these parts inside a box or on a plate so I don't lose them. Well, that seems okay. That can only be the problem. Doesn't look too bad in there. There's some powdery residue. There's not a lot of crud. I must say, working on a bike is a lot easier than working on a car, or one of these small bikes, anyway.
don't know if you can hear that. Okay, the overflow is nice and clear. Yep, it's clean in there. There's some slight crust build up on this which may prevent it from seating properly. Coming off with my fingernails, so it's nothing serious. I don't have any carb cleaner. That's a lot better. Mm. That's better. Yeah, there was very, very, very slight leak earlier, but that's fixed that. The overflow's working. So the problem must be on the valve. float I mean there's petrol in there The rubber seems okay. Not sure, all I can do is blow it out. <laughs> There's no crud in there to prevent the rubber from seating properly. Uh, the only thing I can think is the float isn't coming up and shutting the valve, so I can adjust that. doesn't seem to be much wrong with that at all. Spring works.
There seems to be a bit of resistance there. That seems to travel a long way. So it's in the carburetor like this. So it's in the engine like this. That fills up with petrol. And the float, as that bowl fills up, this should rise up and cut off the flow of petrol by pushing on that valve there I'll look into this, I'll be back so I've put the, I've adjusted the float, so now it should turn the petrol off at a lower height, about there, and then the higher it gets it should really seal it. I cleaned out the jets with a piece of electrical wire, I've put it back together, now I'll go and put it back on the bike. So I've got the carburetor back on, it's all tightened up, everything's connected. Let's see if it stops the leak. Petrol on. still dripping so I'll have to look into buying a new carburetor or getting new jets 
and valves and springs for this one. Bummer. So I've taken the carb off again and I'm checking the float and it does turn off. Float down. So the only reason I can think of is either float is set too low but it can't be because once it gets to there it shuts off or the float's got a hole in it and it's not raising up I'll have to investigate further well it definitely floats and there doesn't appear to be any holes in it so the only other thing I can do is adjust it again see what happens that may have worked fuel is on no leaks Just to check the carb is filling up with petrol. So I'll put it back on the bike and see what happens. Well that seems to have fixed the problem. Got an oil leak now though. Looks like it's coming from there just there but this has got some crappy silicon gasket sealer type rubbish on it so I'll buy a new gasket and fit that I also notice there's a crack in the crank cover just there that's leaking oil I don't know how I'll fix that probably use solder but we'll check that out the first I'll do it while it's off but the first thing I need to do is get the crankcase gasket. Carburetor's done, next job, fix the oil leak. 